<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello. What's going on? We got Tony. We got Paul over here. Brian is um, he's resting peacefully tonight. He is. Well, don't, don't. It sounds like he's dead when you say that. Jesus. Damn, I'm full. he's I didn't he's mean not that way. drinking bourbon. <laughs> yes, but he is. He's relaxing. resting. To, sorry, he's under the influence of some other medication. I don't uh, remember. Yes. I don't remember what he said, but it sounded <laughs> it sounded pretty good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Brian. Not sorry. Drinking bourbon tonight. He he is not drinking bourbon tonight. Is is Which, right. Neither are we, I guess. Yeah. Well, we're drinking whiskey. Whiskey, not bourbon. It's not okay. Bourbon. All right. So tonight. We are doing a, a Japanese whiskey, not with an E either. Wait, what? Whiskey. Doesn't have an E? Does not have an E. Mm. Okay. Not so, a silent E? No, it's not a silent just E. No it's e. Just, just no E in it. Okay. When you spell whiskey, anybody know how to spell whiskey? Mm. Usually there's an E. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to drink So W-H-I-S-K-E-Y. Correct. is bourbon whiskey yeah that is what they call it in in the united states and in ireland actually is is whiskey with an e everywhere else in the world there's no e yeah. i don't know why yeah, i don't know why weird. They're weird yeah they're weird i mean it's just is weird. this oh, this sounds like one of those grammar lessons obviously, where you got the i before e except after c or some obviously we do right the right way. except except on holidays and ways and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very true yeah I, I can't remember all that stuff either. No, but no. so, yeah, tonight. So we have two from uh, the Suntory, uh, the House of Suntory. House of Suntory. We have the to Toki, right? Mm -hmm. And we have the Habiki. So, wait, Toki is that the guy from uh, Avengers? No, that's Loki. That's Loki. Loki uh, yeah, I, was close. I mean, you were close. I was close. Yeah. It's very, it's very close. I was way off. <laughs> they all, all right. Already, they're yeah. already starting with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we figured we'd do this because there, there is a, a hype around Japanese whiskey, mm -hmm. and there's a whole lot of people out there that just really talk about it and love Japanese whiskey. I don't know much about it, so I figured we'd do it. I know so I did, absolutely nothing about it. I did a little it. homework because right. I got yelled at one time when I didn't, yes, you and did. I, don't, I don't want to get fired because okay. I, I love this job. The pay <laughs> is great, uh, but you know. Uh, the one thing resounding in every review I read was it gets easier to pronounce the more you drink it. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> exactly. That makes sense. <laughs> and, and even if you don't pronounce it right, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, because they probably can't pronounce it either. And it's easier to pronounce than it is to spell. That's true. That, that <laughs> like whiskey without an E, I'd have, I'd have been wrong already. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So as you know, you know, bourbon has to come from the United States. That's why these aren't considered bourbon. Are they... Are they um, done pretty much the same way yeah pretty mm -hmm. much they have different grains some are single malt some are um, blended some are you know regular old whiskeys you know whatever but they're pretty much done the same over in Japan they can use used bourbon used uh, sherry casks they can use any of that stuff hmm. and they use them well actually because they, they blend a lot of these whiskeys and they come up with some really good stuff. But so, you said you didn't know anything about this. That's all I know because I did my homework as usual. Well, well, I know. Yep. You know, I left you the I left you the important stuff. I just did the fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you did do your homework. That and the other the other thing was you know since we have three Japanese whiskeys in front of us with no e. Right. Toki means time. So that is called. This is called whiskey time. So I, I think, like. I it, think it's whiskey time. It is whiskey right. time. Eight o'clock on a Monday. Start with that. Sounds about whiskey time. We are going to start with this. Right. This is uh, from the House of Suntory Whiskey, established in 1923. It is 86 proof, hmm. and I don't see no little tab on there to open it up. So I'll just Ooh, use my wow. my you strength. Out. You figured out. Wow. Sure. My ninja strength. That was that was right. easier. Than I, did I did. I did see what you did there. Well done. That's easier <laughs> well, than some of the other ones I've seen you. <laughs> in in Japan, they're they're samurais, though. I think. Yeah. yeah I, All right. I'm strike one. Sure. Strike one. I was oh, a big, a twist. I was a big fan of the samurai. Well, I did. Excited to try this whiskey. Notice. Yes. All right. Here we go. So this is an eighty-six proof. Very light. Yeah, looks that, like. Uh, it looks like corn whiskey almost. I was going to say it looks like uh, Mott's light apple juice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Any uh, age statement? There is no age statement on this one um, other than established in 1923. 
I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not that old. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a ninety-seven year a ninety-seven year barrel. That'd be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's pretty good. They, I see. They how probably only get one barrel out of there. Yeah, yeah. One, one bottle. Bottle. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I know you meant. All right, here we go. That was what I said. Wasn't it? So let's see what kind of nose we get. Check the tape. So, um, check the tape. It's an interesting nose. I'll say that. It's. I have never smelled that on anything else before. Very it is, different. It is a true story. Oak. I, the, uh, I do get a toky. little oak. I can't figure out what it is though. Maybe, maybe mm. once we, eh, you know, like a, it's, a, it's, it's not a, alcohol forward, but it, uh, it's it's got a very odd, and, and I don't say that in a bad way. Uh, I know I say odd, but just the, it's an odd, it's an it, odd nose. It's a because blend, we're used to. To me, it's a blend of like a like a vanilla honey, vanilla honey blend. Hmm. I don't know. All right, cheers. Cheers. Let's see what we got. Well, different. Honest, it almost tastes scotchy to me. It definitely has like that smoky flavor I to got, it. I got a lot of smoke. Yep, 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 yep. Right? Yeah. But a sweet smoke. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness. It is, and I can't figure what it's. It's <laughs> bugging me. I can't figure out what the sweet is yet. Could yeah. be honey. Just a little it could honey. be honey. Could be a bit of honey. A bit of honey. See what I did there? I did. That's a candy, <laughs> that's a candy bar, isn't it? It <laughs> there is. You go. All right. A bit of honey. Um, but it definitely has a scotchy, mm. you know, yeah, from what I definitely. from what I remember, and, and you guys tell me when we get through this, but, you know, I felt like the Japanese whiskeys were a real good segue between a bourbon and a scotch, right? So if you're a bourbon drinker and you drink Japanese whiskey, that's a good segue into scotch, right? Because these are, these are a sweet bourbon. It's much sweeter than okay. scotch from, from what I get, but... And this is a good segue between the two. And if you're a scotch drinker and you want to start drinking bourbon, again, it's got that sweetness that bourbon has mm. and still that smokiness that scotch has. So you're saying so, it's a gateway alcohol? It's a ga- <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gateway alcohol. Gateway alcohol. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, cheers. See what I did there? All right. All right. So <laughs> let's see what we have. All right, Brett. I saw you, brother. Is that priceless? What you got? Most Japanese whiskeys use predominantly malted barley. Very mm-hmm. true. Which is oops. Which is what most single malt scotches use. Okay, so, so that mm-hmm. makes sense. Thank you, Brett, for that. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh, I know. Brett is a uh, is a a whiskey master. Is that right, Brett? I think that's what it is. He went to school for. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. 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 Hang out with Brett. Yeah, where's, where's, why isn't he here yet? Yeah, and he lives like 15 minutes away. Oh, Brett. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come Yo, on, it man. It so much. Uh, we might not look like the clown on Monday Night yeah. Football that does Come On, Man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. Is it, Randy, is it Randy Moss? You, man, you got Moss. Come on, Brett. You're holding out. <laughs> All that knowledge, 15 minutes away, and we're just sitting here making stuff up. <laughs> Brett was with uh, Bob Steele. On that that one, that was oh, Brett. Oh, that Brett. Yes. yes. And I know yes. you met him before, so. I did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys, we get off on Side the tangent. <laughs> Sorry. Swirl. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, I do, like, I still, that's all I get out of that, though. I get smokiness with some sweetness. Right. And mm-hmm. I can't tell you exactly what that sweetness is. It, it tastes and looks kind of like honey. It's it, not real complex. It does. It's not real complex, it but it's not bad. It doesn't have much of a finish. It's not bad drinking, though. Yeah, I can right? drink it for sure. Yeah. I like scotch, so. So, yeah. Not bad. Definitely more more scotchy. Orange peel. Ooh. Mm. Maybe some orange peel in yep. there. Some kind of citrus, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is orange citrus? I don't know. Dude, you asked me that last time. <laughs> not a stone fruit. <laughs> it is not a stone fruit. <laughs> All right. So, this time we have, ooh, 100-year-old... Deer yes. par- oh wait, that mm, says 100 out. natural, uh, 100%. 100% natural spring water. Close I was close. That then. All right, so we're gonna go with the Habiki, which Habiki. is that like from what I understand is is very good. This is from the the Suntory, uh, the House of Suntory, also House of Suntory whiskey. A big house. Also, it's a big house. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think 
it commemorated, I think it came out in 1989, which commemorated their 90 year anniversary. You read the same website I did. Yeah, of course, <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. I, mm -hmm. I went to their website, but yeah. See, and this I is just, a decided, master blend. Of, I decided to make different... up stuff I thought was funnier. So Habiki sounds like Rafiki, the little green, the little blue dude from Lion King. Wow. The crazy bird. <laughs> Okay. That's what I thought of when I see Habiki. I think of Rafiki. And this is another... Um, Come in now. Make shit up. Right. <laughs> it's a true story. Uh, this is another 86 proof uh, meticulous blend of the finest selection of whiskeys. Hmm. Now there's an IE in there. That's because it's whiskeys. Mm. So they get that one right? Yeah, they're, they're allowed to do that. Okay. So, uh, you you, said, you nice said there's no E. Nice there's an E. This is a really cool decanter bottle, too. It would be. That'd be good for a... And uh, I'm pretty sure... Bottle. That this is a cork. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's better. All right. Yeah. It's gonna be got plus be one. This one's got plus be one. Win Just already. saying. Winner. <laughs> Come on, you know we don't. All right, Paul. We won't break the rules. <laughs> break the rules. No, I was just saying winner because mm. you know. Uh, yeah, because it's getting close to winter. Because right, that's right. all I was saying. Right. This is a really cool. It's got like the Look little like Habiki. Uh, Japanese sign up top there. Mm -hmm. nice. That would be a really cool like uh, bottle for, to use as an infinity bottle. Yeah. That would be pretty yeah. cool. <clears throat> you might have to drink it all. Okay. <laughs> Finish that up tonight. So Challenge the bottle. All right. Then, now, this one has more of a complex smell to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Right? So, hmm. I still get honey. Uh, yeah. I feel like you get some caramel. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a, a bit darker yeah, it as is. well. Mm -hmm. Does it say is it aged in? It does not. Like certain barrel. It does or not anything? say that it is aged in anything, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but <laughs> it's in a, a barrel of some sort. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Good All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So much more complex, I would say. But definitely has that same type of smoky, smoky flavor. That was way flavor. more more smoky though. Yeah. More than this one. But and this less also sweet. has caramel and vanilla in it and, and things like that. So I wonder if they took it from different um, <clears throat> different ages of barrels. You know, when they blended that, I wonder if it's from different ones. Terry says that's sort of like yelling, pick up the gun watching a horror film. But very scary. I don't. Right. I don't know what that's referencing. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm lost. If you say so. <laughs> right. But that sounds really good. Apparently, drinking with us. She. She. All right. Chad, you might have to decipher that one for us. I don't know. Mm. You're not selling the sizzle. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Mike. Yeah, I just, I, you know, yeah. it's it's a little more it's, complex. It's a little better. A little bit better. I don't. Not, I don't. We don't do that yet. It. Didn't you just say that? I just said it's a little better. Yeah, you don't I say wasn't better. ranking it. That's it is. Rank. <laughs> it is a little bit more complex right. than the there first one. That's yeah. that's how you say it. A little more complex than the first one. Okay. Um, a, a little bit more flavor to it than the first one. Yeah. Even though the first one was very drinkable, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Um, I don't know. You wouldn't even mix that with something. I don't know what you would mix that with. No, I don't. I don't think so. More whiskey. Yeah. More, <laughs> more whiskey. <laughs> um, this one, the mouthfeel on this one's pretty good, actually. It's it's a little bit. Uh, Thicker than the first one again, so more viscous. Maybe there we go. There it is. Nah, see, we use big word. That's good. yeah, That's it. <laughs> a little more viscous. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it it is definitely more complex. Uh, that's what I'll say. Now the second one, or is that the third one? That's the third. Okay. Oh, that's okay. The third drink. That smoke flavor really comes through, but it's not a bad like it's some of some of the scotches. Yeah, it's not like give an me ashtray. chills. Right. Like, yeah. like like I drink them and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just licked a campfire. 
<laughs> yeah, but these are not like that at all. They're actually very, very no, drinkable. It's good. Yeah. Ryan's on the other end saying grow a pair right now. <laughs> yeah. He, he didn't is. say anything yet. <laughs> it's actually really, it, it, they're good though. I, I could drink these. Just saying. I am drinking them. Huh? Nothing gets by you. Thanks. You're, you're a pretty smart guy. <laughs> all right. So that was the Habiki commemorating uh, 90 <laughs> years. Oh, hit me with some of that 100 year. Hunt, we got a 100 year uh, deer park here, guys. So, guys and girls. That's good water. Deer, yeah. oh, oh, I see what you did oh, there. Oh, well done. <laughs> well, well done, done We got it right from the sink over there. Yeah. <laughs> we we just, just refilled that, filled one. that bottle yeah. up. But. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. <laughs> you got to build your immune system. That's right. Ain't no Rona in the Rick house. Ain't no Rona in the Rick house. No, wait. For sure. Apparently, there's no Rona in the house of Sun Tour either. Yeah, apparently, not. It's true. Well, you know what? It's only 86 proof. That's nah, true. Yeah. It just means you have to drink more of it. They may have a little bit of Rona in their Rick House. I don't know. Mm. Just to be on the safe side, we'll have to drink something stronger later. Yeah. Cheers to that. We are cleansing our palate. So now we have a, a Yamazaki 12 year. <laughs> Spell it without turning it around. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's Y A M A Z A K I. Is it on the back? Too? Yes, <laughs> but I didn't turn it around. <laughs> It is on the back. Hey, you followed his track. <laughs> Again, from Suntory, the house of mm-hmm. Suntory. Um, this the is house. a 12 year, and as you guys can see, or maybe you cannot see, so this one is like a one year. I don't, I don't know what this it's one is. I really don't. Super light, yeah. Super light and really dark, if you guys can see that. Well, that, that bottle's a little darker, too. Yeah. In all honesty. Right. I'm, sure, I'm sure the bourbon or the whiskey will be. We will find too. out. Yeah. But 12 years in a barrel of it. Excuse me. Wow. Sorry. That was a That's little bit. Stuff. That's yeah. how you know it's good. That's how you know it's good. Uh, 12 years in any good. barrel is going to give you a little bit more color. I would say. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is the 12 year Yamasaki single malt. That's mod. fun to say. It Yamazaki. is. Yamazaki. Yamazaki. Sounds like a motorcycle. Yeah. Right. Yamazaki. <laughs> oh, that's Kawasaki. Oh, sorry. All right. So, single malt, Greenhouse. Japanese whiskey. This is like a Yamaha and a Kawasaki came together and made a kid. I like Yamazaki. it. Yamazaki. I like it. That's pretty good. Maybe it's the oil. I like it. <laughs> Maybe that's what it runs on. <laughs> Anyhow, so again, talk about talk about the whiskey. I'm sorry. It's 12 years old. <laughs> Once again, another twist off? Oh, 12 years, 12 old, twelve years old with a oh, twist off. Oh, my goodness. Boo. We need to teach How? them something. Boo. Yamas the, the, the Habiki. You know that that mm. look at the bottle in that. I know. Bottle's nice. Mm-hmm. It's got a cooler. It's got work. It. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, we don't come pick on. Winners yet. No, not yet. We do not pick winners yet. What's the proof on this one? Did we talk about that? We I did know. not. I kept it. This you. this proof is eighty six again. Huh? They like that number. And it's yes, funny because a lot of scotches are eighty proof, right? Am I right there? Mm, I don't know. I have okay, no idea. great. Don't usually look at the proof. Okay, okay great. Thanks for all your input. I just like there. to drink them. I don't know. What the Thank you, Helpy Helperton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can run over and check a bottle if you'd like. No, you don't have to do that. All right, Thank so God, Yamazaki 12 year. So this is this is more of an expensive bottle, obviously, because mm-hmm. 12 years old. Um, mm-hmm. Sits in there for a little while. Probably get probably yields half the barrel. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe a little less. Um, so I can understand why mm-hmm. it is. 12 years old. I mean, a little bit more expensive. So, so far, all of these, the nose is very much the same. Pretty simple. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, very much the same. So, you, you definitely get that, that smoky scotch nose to it, mm-hmm. right? I, I get a lot of honey on the nose, yeah. too. And it's it's a sweet, smoky flick. A, a, sme- a sweet, smoky... Sweet. It's nose. very smeaty. It's yeah. smeaty. That's a new word. Right. That it is, means it is smeaty. sweet, smoky. Right. right. Mm-hmm. I like it. Careful, that'll be a Doritos flavor soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a Wawa Wild Wild sandwich. You never know. <laughs> Maybe we should patent that right now. You should definitely do that. <laughs> Smeat? A smeaty. Yes. That doesn't sound happy. No, no. I'm pretty sure you're not I'm, selling I'm, yeah. let's, let's sell that somewhere All right. else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. Yeah. All right. So, you know, the Yamasaki 12-year... The oldest of our 
of our tasting. Let's see what we got. All right. Cheers. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I jumped the gun a little. That's what Brian would have done if he was here with us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Somebody had to do it. Yeah. Now that is <laughs> very much like Habiki. Mm -hmm. Again, so order. that one that one gives me a little bit more finish to it. I mean, I, that's what I got. Um, but again, it still has that smoky, um, scotchy flavoring to it to me, like a sweet scotch. It, it, it really it, is. It's a, it's a sweet smoke. Yeah, it's a sweet smoke flavor. I mean, it's amazing on the nose and on the taste. At yeah. least the first taste. Maybe the second taste will be different, but. And this one seems to have a little bit more citrus to it as it's well. Something on the back end of this that I'm like, like I haven't figured out what it is. Like a mandarin orange or or mm. not like not, not a regular orange. So I don't blood orange. All right, they're a little weirder. Yeah, they're they're weirder. Is that a word? It is. Is it? All right. mm -hmm. If not, I use it all the time. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. all right. Definitely a word, then, guys. That's right. <laughs> put it in your dictionaries. <laughs> Weirder. If you use it enough, it'll get put in the dictionary. Look, if you say anything with enough confidence, people believe you. Right, exactly. That's what, that's what makes us That's successful. what makes us good. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> successful. We act like we know what we're talking about. Right. Sometimes. So, Look, opinions are easy. That's right. Everybody has them. They're like... Watch it. <laughs> it's a like, family show. They're like buttholes. <laughs> that, good, good edit. Ah, uh, you know, radio edit. Like buttholes. So I'm, I'm I'm really trying <clears throat> to huh. I'm really trying to pick out flavors, I, and it, it's very um, difficult. Like once it sits for a couple minutes, I get a little peanut butter. Really? Like after it's been on my tongue for a couple seconds. Like, so Brett chimed in again. He didn't say he was going to come join us again, but he did say oh. we have to try Nika from the Barrel, one of the single best whiskeys he's ever had. Nice. Right. Good you to know. You bring some over, Brad. Well, I promise you, we'll try it. Absolutely. <clears throat> we're here for you. We're really we, good at we, that. We are good at that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do the Bob Steele on this one. Hey, why not? Yeah. I know Bob's not Japanese, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, I, I, I don't care what he's a little Japanese in there somewhere. How do you know? I don't know. You're right. You are right, Paul. Bob, let us know if you got some Japanese. So, let's see. Cause I can't, I can't really figure. out. I definitely get some citrus flavors to it, and the smoke flavor and that sweetness. What? Mm. <laughs> All right, hold on. Go ahead, try it. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. It is. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> It is, it is interesting, and and <clears throat> I might have to do that again if I have enough, which I do. I mean, you got a, another bottle. I mean, you got the bottle right there. You could pour yourself a little more. I, I probably could, but I had, think I have enough to do that Bob Steele again. Um, Nobody's getting the peanut butter on the face? No. I don't get peanut butter, but I get some other nut. I don't know what it is. So you're telling me there's a nut. <laughs> So they're telling me there's a nut. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll take it. It's not. It's not that. It's so weird. I, I do taste. I do taste. I, just, I don't get it until like. <laughs> it's, Brett said, "I'll bring it over." A couple seconds. Nice deal. Deal, Brett. Um, I mean, we liked you, Brett. I do taste. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. Oh boy. Here we I go. I do taste nuts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew uh, I, I knew it was a bad thing to say. But that is I, a bad thing to say. <laughs> all right, but uh, no, not they're, all they're... the time, folks. Just occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> just on the third Thursday of the month. Oh my goodness. No. Um, there, there is a nutty flavor to it that <clears throat> I can't pinpoint. I don't, I don't get the peanut butter like you do. Yeah. It might be peanut butter. I just. So I here's. I think it's peanut. Butter. All right. So here's something. All right. I I I almost get like an organic. I thought butter. you were going to say orgasmic for a second. I was like, no. Talking about nuts. <laughs> organic. <and> organic. <laughs> organic peanut butter, which doesn't have 
a real sweet peanut butter flavor right, to it. It doesn't have the added sugar. Right. Right. So does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Or I, I don't know. I don't know. As long as you get peanut butter, I don't care whether it's organic or <laughs> jiffy, whatever. You... I All can't. Right, so... I can't figure out what that is. I just get. I get smoke and a little bit of sweet. I got white pepper with the Bob Steele. Um, I don't get that peanut. I, butter. I definitely got some some uh, spiciness mm-hmm. with the Bob Steele. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do that. Which one we again. usually do. Which yeah, it definitely um, permeates the, the the nostrils a little bit more. Permeates. Don't tell wow. me you don't know what permeates. Did you look no, that up but like, why, you know, why, why do you have to do that? You don't have to use big words. Because we're one, drinking one a week, whiskey. Folks, one a week. He looks I, it up. I want people he... to think we're intelligent. No. They, they know better. They know better. He's right. <laughs> oh, is this still on? <laughs> <laughs> is this thing on? All right. All right. So we're gonna vote. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do our we're gonna do our thing. Um, go ahead, Tony. It's all you. So I'm gonna do this. Mm, one, two, three. All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought the uh, is that one Habiki? Habiki. Yep. I thought the Habiki just had you know a better taste. This I can't figure out what's in this Yamazaki. Uh, I can't put my finger on it. And then the the, the Loki or Toki, whatever it is, I yeah. thought was that was kind of boring. Yeah, it, yeah. It, was, it was. It was an fun. easy drinker. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not fun, bad. It's just drinking. not. It's not super flavorful. It's not overly complex. Yeah, it's, I, it's no. good and a little a little sweet. But the the hibiki was was pretty good. Yeah. Um, the Yamazaki was. All right. Paulie, what do you have? I'll switch it back. Yeah, I do. You I think this got more complexity to it. You like to make things difficult. Well, it's okay. I mean, you're allowed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here not we go. Very often, but very true. Very true. All right. So. I am going to keep this one here. Yeah, we knew that. You thought I was going to move <laughs> not, it. Not, not a not chance. Not even a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> we knew that wasn't happening. And this one, I uh, I am going to switch. Ah, I, I am. I, I, Glenn you got know, it right this week. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to do that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think, so, even so I when I do. look at these, so the whiskey inside the bottle itself what do you see? is, you know, is is darker than that one right but no the whiskey inside the bottle mm-hmm. so i will say these two are very very similar very similar. they are and i think this one even though this is a 12 year i think this one has a better um has a better mouth feel to it I all right i think the 12 year has a better finish to it and 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 you could so we have mouth feel versus finish so you know, you put yours there. I put mine there. You know, these are these are very very similar, and I'm surprised that this doesn't come with a cork. Yeah. So let's let's. I feel, like that's the, I feel like that's the only reason you switched them up. You, you <laughs> have to remember this is a point off right here. Well, hold on, let's. That's let's, a twelve year with that. So with those two tasting so so similar to one another, what was the cost of the twelve year versus the cost of the habiki? Right. So the habiki is about eighty nine dollars. Okay. And the Yamasaki was about 120. Yeah. So I'd go Habiki. I, I just I think the Habiki wins out on that, mm-hmm. and I think it is it is first of all a better value, and just as good as that 12 year. And I don't know what the highest year blend is there, but I just feel like it's just as good as that 12 year. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know? And especially and so if I knew I. That one's forty dollars less, and they taste that similar. And that one's actually got better mouthfeel. I thought the flavors just worked together better. Yeah, I'd save forty bucks and buy that one. Yeah. So, so there you have it, folks. But would you, you spend question? that much money on any, either of those? Like, would you pay the money for those? Were they were they worth that to you? Me, no. I, me neither. I wouldn't so, spend that much money. I prefer I prefer the taste of bourbon. I mean, these were good, but yeah, so again, go ahead. If you like that taste, feel free to spend that amount of money. But I don't feel like it had the complexity um, and all you know what, everything that you can get from a much cheaper bourbon. You spend that much money. On. So again, a Scotch drinker trying to get into the bourbon world, mm-hmm. right? The gateway. I think gateway. These guys bottles. are phenomenal for that. The gateway mm-hmm. bottles, right? Mm-hmm. So I think. 
people would pay $79, $89 for this to, to kind of have that gateway. And I think the it, it is not that far off to be made in Japan and and so forth and so on, right? So I, I just think that it, it these two are good bottles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I probably would not purchase this one again just knowing that this one's here, mm-hmm. right? And would I purchase that one again? If I was really trying to get into scotches, I may have that one again, you know? Mm-hmm. Because it, it is definitely that gateway into scotch. I, I no it's bourbon has in that. Between yes, bourbon and scotch. no bourbon has that that smoky flavor that I have found yet. You know, that's that's what I'll say. Fair enough. All right, fair. sounds good. So fair fair. <clears throat> you know, follow us on Instagram and uh, YouTube at the Bourbon Assault and the Bourbon Assault and at Bourbon Assault yeah. and go send to us Bourbon a, Assault. Send, bourbon us, assault. send us any bourbon you don't want to drink. We'll take care right. of it. Right. Yeah. We there's do. A, we do a special have, method of disposal. I mean, we do you have, have a disposal. If, if you have Japanese whiskey you'd like to dispose of, we will try it. Yeah, we, we will dispose yep. of. Yep. We, we will dispose of it. Dispose of. We follow so, all environmental guidelines when it comes to disposal. Right. Right. There's, there's no issues. Right. Mm-hmm. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you soon.